Hi all, Mass Barnacop from Kaiser Power Electronics here. Today we are looking at the Danfoss VLT6000, which is a legendary frequency inverter. Um, this is a HVAC um, application specific unit. So that basically just means this is program or it has the software and has maybe a bit of different power electronics compared to that is to be used in ventilation applications. So, let's get this taken apart. Let us open and the cables removed. Up here we have the small local control panel and you will find this on almost any yeah, previous uh, Danfoss frequency inverters but also um, the more modern ones. That is the same concept with these small plug-in panels um, being used. On the newer models you can just plug this right into the, the front of it. It connects down to the uh, driver board here, controlled by an Atmo um, microcontroller. And that's basically it. We can see that we have the, um, probably the output for the, um, the drive itself for the IGBTs. So let's get deeper down into the unit and see where these flatband cable connects to. And we are down into the heart of the inverter drive. Now, let's just get it free of some of the wires here. You can see the wires going down to the chokes here sits with some um, yeah, regular connectors but these are secured connectors so they actually have this little um, hook so once they're pressed down they're not that easy to uh, get off again. So here on the main board this is um, this is the output so here we have the uh, the three-phased input, or was this? This was the three-phased three input. So over here we have the input filtering. We have regular capacitors, uh, varistors, and such. Then there is something missing here, maybe some option or larger version. Over here we have uh, the braking transistors, low voltage power supply. Uh, maybe this is uh, isolated or high side, low side drivers. Um, Certainly has six uh, gate drive transformers sitting here for the IGPT brick, which is a three-phased. This is a Danfoss IGPT DP16 D1200. So this is most likely a 1200 volt, 16 amp, three-phased um, IGPT brick. Over here we have the Simicron input rectifier, which is an SKD31-16, so that's a 31 ampere, 1600 volts. So after the rectifier we have the uh, filtering of the uh, two filter capacitors here, which are EPCOS 470 microfarads. Then there is a external uh, DC link, um, as these can be linked up. So you have maybe one big power supply and you can put more and more drives in, uh, in series with it. Then here we have the output to the drive itself. We have it marked with UVW here and there's also a current transformer for each output to monitor the current. Let's see these are CSN C241 slash 500. But I doubt these are 500 ampere current monitors or current transformers. Maybe they are even transducers. We can check out the back side here. We can see that it sits with three legs, so that's most likely a transducer. So there's a little peculiar uh, switch over here. There's this piece of plastic going through a set of contacts. It says switch one. Not quite sure uh, what that is really for. I never seen it before, and I'm not quite sure that's mentioned in the manual. 
But yeah, that's what you find inside a VLT 6000 series inverter drive, which is rated for, oh, let's see, it says over here, 4 kVA output power. So, I hope you enjoyed seeing what's inside this little unit. So, thank you for watching. See you next time.